the mangrove monitor can be found in North Australia, or excuse me, Northern Australia and New Guinea to, um, I don't even know what these places are called, like the, the, mol- the mollusk. Cause the Molucas, Molucas, yeah, 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 Molucas, and what Solomon Islands? Yeah. Y'all, let me know if I said that right or wrong. These lizards are in fact semi-aquatic, and they can grow up to four feet long. And I'm not even gonna lie, they looking like Komodo dragons, but that's just me. Now, being opportunistic, right? They will feed on eggs of other reptiles, birds, mollusks, rodents, insects, crabs, smaller lizards, which I think I said that, but okay, fish, and dead animals that would wash up on the shore. These particular lizards are one of the only two species of monitor lizards that have a salt secreting nasal glands, which that's pretty cool, I actually didn't know that, which allows these particular lizards to survive in saltwater habitats and travel to new islands. So hey you know um I, I don't know how dangerous they are um but i know they have teeth so you know just be careful i guess um they have the ability to detect their prey um but not just using their fork elongated tongue but they also um use a particular organ called the jacobson's organ which again i didn't even know that. now how it works is the tongue is used to gather the scent and then when the tongue is retracted it's it like it, it it touches the the organ uh, basically i don't know man Na- nature evolution is just weird but that's basically how they find their food